Most of the emotions in life come from you hearing or, or telling a story. And it was a natural progression for me to just put a camera in between me and seeing stories. And I found myself being placed in some extraordinary situations over the years that normally you couldn't get into simply because you could tell a story. I like the excitement of not knowing what's going to happen, uh, that you get one chance to cover it. If you go into filmmaking, you have to let it grow, you have to let it develop and you have to develop the skills to allow you to adapt to situations. Everything I've done in my career, I kind of get excited by not knowing what's going to happen next. What you have to do as a filmmaker, or what I do, is I've just got to have the right tools to capture the sounds, the visions and the moments as best you can and be ready for what can happen and then tell the story the way it is and the narrative is actually what sells it. So you should be able to close your eyes and, and still be engaged. And the vision is the icing on the cake, really. So now what I do is literally use a handheld Zoom F1 or new F3 mic to get the audio. Also, when you're dealing with people, a lot of the times uh, these people haven't been interviewed before or used to a camera. So if you turn a camera on in front of them, you're not gonna get what you need from them. It's extremely rare, but you put a microphone in front of them, they'll tell you their life story and you'll get everything. I've utilized Zoom for quite a few years based on the same philosophy I've placed on all my gear acquisitions. I have to have it reliable. I've got to have it do the stuff that I don't understand. People always laugh at me and say, you know, what settings do you use? And it's like, I just use auto. Turn it on and the mics remove the noise for me the wind noise, etc. I can use them anywhere, literally anywhere. I've taken the F1s and, and now the, the F2 and new F3s to some of the most crazy locations on earth. And I've, I've never had them break. It's never not given me perfect audio. And I can carry it around my pocket. You can fix bad imagery because you call it art, right? But you can't fix bad sound. It's just got to be good.